Hello Scorpio and welcome to your monthly reading. This is for Scorpio. This resonates with you Scorpio. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all Scorpio, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Scorpio out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however, it resonates with you. This is for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Let's see. Okay, you're at a crossroads. Money is definitely improving here. All right. Looking, looking, looking. All right. So we're going to dive deep into the love reading first. And then we will take a look at career. You definitely got um, some new career moves coming up. And then after all is said and done, we are going to uh, pull you a little oracle card, get you a message from the universe. All right, so with in regards to the love reading, um, you're making a decision to let go of something that you thought had potential and it did not. Um, you're moving towards a, like a big commitment. That's what I'm seeing. And it's going to be quite successful. You're stepping into a whole new reality here. So you feel like you got kind of used with a past situation. Like you were just being strung along. What you thought had potential did not have potential. All right, so the, the situation was very uh, imbalanced, and where you're going, it's going to be quite uh, balanced. This person is going to be very generous to you, um, and you're not going to feel used and, and neglected here. Six of um, Pentacles. You could be dealing with... Um, fire sign or somebody with fire in their chart you really had to stand your ground you really had to take your power back you're not giving up on love itself but i do feel like there was interference with a past situation um some jealousy here and you're just like you know what i'm done going forward with a very clear mind and um a lot of determination and a lot of passion here. This took its toll on you. Um, you really had to think about things. We got the hermit here. Some soul searching had to be done. Some healing had to be done. Very, very... Uh, it's like you had to go into your cave. And you are re-emerging um, stronger. Uh, your head is really, really clear right now. It's uh, so much power when it comes to you because you took a moment to really think about what you want, really. You could be dealing with a Virgo. So you've been hard at work. Um, I feel like there is huge potential. You could be meeting someone new uh, in regards to work or some sort of practical everyday thing, um, maybe something new that you're learning, but I'm seeing all these pinnacles here. All right. So you really had to rebuild yourself, put all the effort that you were putting into a dead end situation. You're putting all that energy back into you and it's, it's showing, right? So it's like a, it's like uh, you had to go into your cave, you had to get to work, you had to get really focused, and you're emerging as like a butterfly, right? So eight of pinnacles here. 
I also feel like this person that's coming in for you is going to put a lot of effort into the situation with you. So, and um, you, you're going to require a lot of work. You're going to be a little bit of a challenge for this particular person because trust issues are most definitely there and you you are you are going to thoroughly examine this person and and vice versa they're going to thoroughly examine you so right now you're at that crossroads right and standing your ground in regards to a past dead-end situation not giving up on yourself not giving up on love but just kind of finding your way through it and getting to getting on the other side of this and it, that's when things magically fall into place for you this is this new reality has been a long time coming for you Scorpio so we got the two of wands with the seven of wands so what you want ultimately is commitment that higher love you want something a little bit more traditional and someone that is not afraid of commitment um, Taurus energy here so in the past we have this Empress energy right this is Libra this is Taurus this, this was like a situation that you saw so much growth and potential and you wanted it to go all the way and it didn't um, I feel like there was especially with the seven of wands outside influences trying to interfere um, and it feels like they succeeded there was a lot of jealousy here so what's coming in is a, a whole new reality for you when this new person steps into the picture okay and it's like they see you they want you and they know that they have to take this very very seriously because you are not dealing with dead-end situations anymore so for real right it has to be for real this time and this is um a blessing this you step through that little portal there that little doorway and um it's a beautiful situation it's grounded in reality and this person's very serious they took forever to get here um knight of pentacles energy very slow um, but very uh, sincere this one's got a little bit of a plan that's what I want to say and we have justice here the past will be dealt their karma some of you may be getting a divorce from this past person and it's probably the best decision you could be dealing with a Libra or somebody with Libra in their chart but you are making a very clear with that sword there and very balanced decision to move forward and that is where your success lies now this new person as genuine as they are probably not very emotional okay but they are very direct um and they're gonna say they could be a little bit more on the blunt side but they are very genuine that's for sure and very serious when it comes to uh, who they want in their life and they know that they're going to have to kind of fight for you right so they're going to want to show you some things they're they're going to want to show you that they are like the best decision and the magician here so is this what you have manifested is this what you have called in um yes because you want commitment you want something that's more you and your person and kind of settled really grounded that's what you want and you have called this in and therefore it's just a change of the person it wasn't you know your manifestations being held up it was just i think you were trying to call in the wrong individual 
and now the right one is is coming to you you're also afraid um because this is in your hopes and fears that this new person is going to be full of shit spend a day with them and you're going to see that this person is so blunt and so genuine that they're they're not good at that okay they don't have that kind of um mentality so but anyway you're going to check them out they're going to check you out too right you're going to research them you're going to make sure that they are who they say they are and do all the things which don't blame you everybody should be doing that you know considering I mean, the two of you are going to wind up in bed together, so you're going to have to know who you're sleeping with. I mean, just to be, to, just to be blunt. <laughs> so, Page of Swords, take a look at some things. They're going to be looking at you and making sure you're the right person, too. So, this is kind of the right person at the right time. Page of Swords for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio. Page of Swords for Scorpio. Yeah, so here's the delivery right into your lap, right? Queen of Pentacles energy, you could be dealing with an earth sign, male or female. This could, this could get pretty serious pretty quickly and you're going to be open and ready for it. Why are you going to be open and ready for it? Because you've done your homework on this individual. So we got the Fool card here, Queen of Pentacles. So all is not lost. It's I just feel like you were trying to call in and make it work with the wrong person. And now that the right person is showing up, um, they got their work ahead for them. But um, you're going to see that this person is very genuine um, in, their, in their pursuit. They want to do it the right way and they want to win and you're going to see that all right so let's take a look at career with all these pinnacles here so you're at a crossroads in in that as well i'm seeing that here and you're making a decision to go in a new direction there is a new windfall there is a new opportunity here this is what's crowning the reading and it's going to take you to places <laughs> that you need to go, right? Your money needs to improve like yesterday, and it most definitely will. So you being determined, you standing your ground, almost in regards to the powers that be, and I'm going to say this is the powers that be, all right? So you're just like kind of, no, no. Um, very defensive against the powers that be. And I feel like there was once growth here, but it kind of fizzled out. So it's like you're going back to the drawing board here. You may be learning some new things. You, some of you may be going back to school. This is the apprenticeship card. And this has taken a lot of thought. What is my next move? Because I'm tired of working for... People that are greedy, that are that they won't listen. They, I do all the work, and they still like the credit. That's the type of feeling. So, and you're just ready for, you know, it's quarter life crisis, midlife crisis. You're ready for more, and therefore you're going to get more. And you've been thinking a lot about this. This is something that's going to get you going, right? You're very passionate about this. And you're very pissed at whoever is in charge. Um, it's like they are horrible. And they've just been kind of giving you pennies when you should be... Um, when things should be more balanced, right? So this is you've been down here and they're the one pulling the strings and you're just, you're over it. So you're making a decision, big one, right? To go in this new direction here. 
and that is where your victory is. This is going to be quite successful for you. Yes, you have called this in. And once you take a look at this opportunity and do your due diligence to thoroughly investigate this new opportunity, you're going to take a chance on it and you're not going to regret it. And this, this is yours. This blessing is yours. It falls right into your lap and everything starts to fall into place for you after it's like you've been battling, battling not only in your love life, but in your career as well. And it's kind of like those days are over with these decisions that you're getting ready to make. This is for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? We have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. And I feel like this love situation, um, they're going to lose. They're, you're gone. They're going to be the ones that are crying. Okay. And in regards to this job situation, they can't use you anymore. You're moving on to bigger and better things. It's not a loss for you. It's a loss for the people that you've been battling in regards to your love life, in regards to your career. You don't know what you got till it's gone, right? And you're the one that's going to be gone and they're going to have to realize what they've lost. All right, Scorpio, <clears throat> that's what's going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, and God bless.